What is up, people? This is Jesus himself here, coming to you from Battlefield HQ, and today, guys, I've got another Skyrim video. And today, I'm going to do one just on the trainers in the College of Winterhold, so I can help you guys who have been the mage characters, help you out there. Alright, so what you want to do, if you haven't been to the College of Winterhold and you're a mage or any sort of magic sort of dude, you want to be going here pretty quickly because it'll help you just with your, uh, your mage armour, which is... It's not really armor, it more just gives you a faster uh, magicka regeneration, but that's going to help you a lot if you're a mage or if you're trying to use uh, destruction spells. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, speak to this uh, girl here, Feralda, then you cruise inside, speak to another bird, and then do a little bit of training with this uh, bloke, and it's about five minutes worth of missions, and then you can start using the trainers. They won't speak to you before you do that, so just do those first few little things, and you can speak to them. Right, so this this bird here, like I said, is going to be your destruction trainer, which is going to be your main sort of magic. So speak to her for that, and uh, she'll help you out with that. All right, this next bird here, Colette Marantz, is going to be your restoration trainer, which is basically just your uh, your health regeneration through magic and uh, all that sort of rubbish. So yeah, if you get in the shit, she'll um, you can have health regeneration in one hand and your fire or flames or whatever <coughs> in the other, so you can attack and heal yourself at the same time, which is going to be very helpful. Alright, this next guy here is going to be one of your other main things that you use as a mage. It's one of the main things I use actually, and I'm using a sneaking character, because it just, if you get in the ship with ten people around you trying to attack you, you just conjure up one of these bad boys and, uh, and it'll help you out, it'll just take some of the heat off you. So yeah, it's going to be your uh, conjuration training. You can speak to this guy and uh, see what he's got for sale afterwards, because all these trainers sell uh, spell tones, which are basically just your magic. So as you can see there, you can buy all that sort of business. And the main thing that I like to use is the uh, Flame Atronarch, which is the one you saw at the start that I launched. And he seems to be pretty good, setting people on fire. But yeah, this next guy here is your enchanting guy. You, if you're a mage, you're not going to be using this as much, because you're going to be conjuring a lot of your weapons and their magic already. But um, for all you other guys using different, different classes out there, there he is. Alright, now this guy can be hard to find sometimes. So um, what, you, what I do is I just go into the Arcanium, hit the back button, wait three or four hours, and if he's not there afterwards, I just do it again till he turns up. And this is your Illusion Trainer. So he'll help you out with all your Illusion spells. And uh, as he says, it helps you out with avoiding conflict. So not my sort of thing. I'd rather just have the conflict. But, but anyway, it might help you out later on. And as always, guys, just go and see what he's got for sale. You can buy the books off him and get the spell times, and that's what you want. Now this is the last guy, and he's looking a little bit fucking creepy at the moment, because he's watching this fucking, what seems to be a bloke sleep, which is a bit sus, but, but anyway. This is your alteration trainer, and it's your last trainer in the uh, College of Winhold, so they're all your trainers, guys. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have any questions or any video you want me to put up to help you guys out, just let me know. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to do it quickly. But yeah, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And guys, please subscribe, because we could use them. But anyway, this is Jesus himself, signing off. Peace.